Hey guys, it's Michael from EAK Crew Productions, and today I wanted to go over a ruling video with you guys, or do a ruling video with you guys on Rescue Rabbit. Uh, this card's always been a popular card, but with Fire Fist coming around the corner, and other decks like Evil Swarm, uh, Rescue Rabbit is even more popular than normal because you can splash it into all those decks and it becomes a key player. So let's talk about negating Rescue Rabbit because I feel like these have always been fallacies or people haven't correctly understood how these cards uh, come or interact with the Rescue Rabbit. So first off, there's Effect Failure. Alright, so let's read Effect Failure. During your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to target one face-up effect monster your opponent controls. Negate that target's effect until the end phase. So, what you want to do is when your opponent summons a rescue rabbit, you immediately affect Valor, the rescue rabbit. What this has done is not made it so that rescue rabbit can't activate its effect, because it can. But, because its effect activates while it's face up on the field, even though its cost is banishing itself, it will not get its effect. Because Effect Veiler's effect lingers. So even though Effect Veiler's not around, and even though Rescue Rabbit's not around anymore, because Rescue Rabbit's effect activated while he was face up on the field, the effect lingers, and Rescue Rabbit will not be able to special summon the two monsters. Instead, he'll banish himself and just be stuck out there having done nothing. Alright. Now let's talk about it with Fiendish Chain. So let's read Fiendish Chain. Target one face-up effect monster on the field. That target's effects are negated. Also, that target cannot attack. When that target is destroyed, destroy this card. So, if I summon a rescue rabbit and you activate your fiendish chain, that would make it so that my rescue rabbit no longer has its effect, although I can still activate it. So, I would activate my effect, banishing myself, and then resolving in the banish zone, thus special summoning two monsters. Now the reason why this works differently than Effect Veiler is because Fiendish Chain is not a lingering effect, but is instead a continuously targeting effect. So, because my Rescue Rabbit is no longer face up on the field, it cannot target it. And because it's not being targeted by Fiendish Chain anymore, its effect is no longer being negated. Anyways, that's Michael from EAK Crew Productions. I hope you learned a little something, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.